Okay, that's now we're running as well. So we can remove the first point from the agenda. And let's start with the open forum. Does anyone have any questions or issues or anything they would like to raise? Okay, hearing nothing. Uh, the next point on the agenda are some open PRs and issues. Uh, so, uh, first one, I added there are some PRs which seem to be open for a very long time without much change. So this is the first one I opened about the, I edit there about the uh, bridge example alerts. I think the bridge alerts would be useful, but they seem to be a bit uh, random from what we had in the PR. So any suggestions what we should do with it? I guess with Paolo being away, this might be a bit tricky to clear up here. Okay, so do we want to wait for the next time? I think so. Sorry, I, you know, speaking personally, I don't really follow the bridge closely enough to be able to talk competently about that one. Okay. Next one was this, so that was from some user. It's just, oh, actually he commented there 14 minutes ago. Okay, so I guess uh, that's something what we should look at and reply there. So that solved itself. Next one is this one. Is Michal here? No. Uh, yeah, I discussed it with Michal. Yeah. It was like, uh, I think, six or five days ago. I described him uh, the scenario which uh, he should use in the test. But I think he didn't have time to really implement it. So I will talk to him. I'm not sure if he's on PTO tomorrow, but definitely he's on PTO today. So I will remind it to him and uh, hopefully he will uh, fix it as we, uh, as we requested with Paolo and you in, in the comments. Okay. Next one was This one, uh, Samuel, do you plan to continue? Um, yeah, that, it's ready. Um, I think we're just waiting for the reapprovals. I addressed all of the comments. Um, Tom approved it. I think we were just waiting on Paolo's um, dismissal of uh, request changes. Okay. That's I should probably just poke him directly. I, I, I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, interrupt him, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll just poke him directly and get him to uh, approve that. Okay, I need a comment there so that you can have a look at it. So that's great. Uh, then this one. Yeah.
Yeah, so I think we are still waiting. For the author. Yeah, I mean, he did a really good job. Um, the only problem is that the tests are currently not passing. I, I don't know. I think it's probably a rebase issue or something like that. Um, but he needs to rebase this and actually open it as a proper PR before we can actually merge it. But he, uh, but the contributor seems to be focusing on other uh, pull requests at the moment. Okay, then let's give him more time. And then the last one was Yeah, I think this one is stalled for some time as well. I'm not sure what the state is. But I think Tom is off this week, so yeah, we should check with him next week when he gets back. Okay, any other PR someone wants to discuss? Okay, in that case, uh, there is still a bunch of open proposals, and I think uh, this one about the security is one which had some updates recently. And to be honest, I didn't yet reject it, but uh, uh, yeah, I think we should review the latest changes and uh, check with. Uh, Green, whether we still want him to change something there or whether it's okay to be merged now. So please, all maintainers, have a have a look at it if you didn't yet. Just to add, Jakob, um, I've also added in um, a I did I did some work around the UI um, security strategy, so that's been added as a commit into this. It will have been after you guys have reviewed it, um, so I think that will also need another review before this could be merged. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have this on my to-do list to review it. Yeah, sorry. I, I think everyone else should do as well. Sorry, hi, Jakob. Um, I was a little late to get here, um, so the timing is just great. Um, before anybody reviews it, uh, I am going through and doing some um, revising of it. Um, so uh, the Scram stuff, um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that Nick just spoke about the um, the OAuth dance bit that he's he's added to the thing. But um, what I'm doing is taking the Scram stuff uh, related to the UI out um, and just putting a picture in there of Scram to the admin server. Um, the so as I say, the, there is uh, a bit of adjustment that needs to make, and also all the wording uh, for the OAuth two stuff. Now that I have a better understanding of the OAuth two stuff, I'm uh, making that more generic because that seemed to be the most um, common uh, comment that came through on those things uh, is that it was very kind of key cloak um, specific, but it doesn't just support key cloak. Um, it is supposed to be a generic uh, or support a general um, OAuth 2 server. So as I say, there's, there's still uh, quite a lot of, um, or there's going to be a fair amount of changes to it. So if people can just hold off uh, I'll post something in the um, Strimzy Dev channel, uh, you know, when I've pushed it up, although, you know, people can have a look and see if there is a, an update from me, and then that means that uh, that work has been completed. And hopefully, I, I wanted to try and get it up for today, but unfortunately, I haven't. So it is pretty close to being ready to be pushed up. Okay, uh, good to know. So thanks for the update, and we will wait for you to ping us when some more changes are in and then we will review it. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, anyone wants to talk about any other proposals? Right, so uh, then the next point on the agenda are the component owners. 
So uh, if you followed on Slack and on the PRs in the governance repository, we added this concept of component owners to the to the governance, which allows us to make more people as a reviewers and allow them to merge the PRs and should hopefully make sure that uh, the PRs might be reviewed by the right people and uh, uh, will the maintainer reviews will not be such a bottleneck. So we already have uh, the five first component uh, owners. So we have uh, Marco for the OAuth uh, library. We have Matthew for the Streams UI. Then we have uh, Standa for the bridge. And then we have Maros for the system tests in the main repository and uh, Paul Mellor for the documentation in the system repository. The PR adding them to the list is not merged yet because uh, I opened it yesterday, but I will merge it today. And then I will also follow up with some uh, announcement on the Slack channel. So thanks for all your help to everyone. And hopefully this uh, arrangement will help us to get uh, reviews faster and uh, better. Anyone wants to add anything to that or ask any questions or anything? If not, then I wanted to add some uh, note about the coupon EU, which was last week. Uh, so what we had there was, uh, we had one talk which was pre-recorded by me and Paolo. Uh, with live Q&A uh, and then we had to meet the maintainer sessions. So I think the talk went fine and there were a lot of questions at the end. We didn't manage to answer all of them even. Uh, I think that uh, there were like 140 people watching the talk, which uh, was definitely more than I expected. And we even had some people join for the meet the maintainers uh, sessions and uh, asking some questions on uh, both of them big part of the time. So I think that went uh, quite well. I was definitely afraid that nobody would join the meet the maintainer sessions and we would be just sitting there for one hour. So. Uh, yeah, at least as I'm, far as I'm concerned, it definitely beat the expectations. Okay, then the next point on the agenda is the annual review. I prepared some draft for that and uh, I wanted to add the link there. Uh, give me a minute to find that. So I think we should open it fairly soon. But I, since we introduced the new component owners, I still wanted to update it with information about uh, that. Uh, But if anyone wants to have a look and wants to have any comments, then uh, feel free to have a look and uh, yeah, either comment now or get back to me on Slack or uh, or something like that. And then the last point on the agenda is the 020 release. Uh, I know some folks from IBM were asking me about the plan for that. Uh, so that's why I edited it here so that if needed, we can discuss it. I think there are already some interesting features in uh, the master. Uh, in particular, there's the Kafka 2.6 support. Uh, and uh, there's uh, the 
the changes about the dynamic login configuration without needing to restart the brokers, uh, which I think are the main uh, main things. Uh, what I'm still working on is this listener configuration redesign, which uh, implements one of the approved proposals. Uh, it's quite complicated because it needs to rewrite quite a lot of different methods, but I hope to be able to get some working thing during the weekend. And then kind of ideally, but I don't think that's completely mandatory. I think it would be great to have the V1 alpha one removal from the custom resources. Uh, then I ideally wanted to have also the warnings about the deprecated properties in the status to make it more clear to the users what they are using. And then I think we had discussed in the past to add the V1 beta 1 version of the CRD for the bridge. But if uh, there is any reason why we need to do the release rather sooner than later, then uh, yeah, maybe we should leave some of these out for the for the next release. That said, the listener configuration was something what a lot of people were asking for at KubeCon. So it might be good to get at least that into the release. So uh, I don't know what others think. Yeah, I think the listener re uh, the listener redesign um, is definitely something that we should try really hard to get into this release. Um, the others, you know, it would, they're sort of nice to have, but um, if the listener stuff was done. Um, and it didn't look like we'd be able to do some of the others, then I'd be fine with that. How does that work for IBM side? Do you need anything from the release? Do you need the release quickly or do you don't care about this release? I mean, in terms of uh, needing it for the next event streams release. So from our side, there's no particular features that that we need, but in terms of time scale, it would help if it was in the next two or three weeks. Yeah, I think two or three weeks should be hopefully feasible. So I guess if we, if I manage to finish the listener configuration during the weekend, then maybe next week we can do some release candidate or something. That'd be a, a big help for us, thanks. Okay, I think that's the end of the things which we had prepared for the agenda. Is there anything else what anyone wants to discuss or talk about or ask or add? So I guess that's it for today then. So uh, yeah, I guess thanks for coming and uh, See you on Slack and in two weeks on the next community meeting. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.